The commander's nervousness had soon become evident. Lookout spotted armed and uniformed men heading in the direction from the plains below. The fighters rallied to investigate. The commander had told me that his strategy for the past two years had simply been to avoid contact with the Indonesian army. Now that strategy was abandoned as he headed to intercept the intruders, ordering his men to approach the enemy in a pincer movement. Suddenly, the commander realized they weren't enemy forces at all, but his own men. They'd been escorting some villagers to a refugee camp. He was furious that they were returning later than ordered, and that they hadn't called him to say when they were arriving. What he didn't know was that their mobile phone batteries had run out. Commander Moharam said he'd let the men off lightly because of my presence. <coughs> Back at the camp, his mobile phone was a constant interruption. Some calls were to coordinate body collections, others to fix aid deliveries to locals and food for his force. If you have time, please send 40 packets of rice. I have to go. My mobile phone battery is dying. The proposed ceasefire would benefit GAM, not the Indonesian army. On the run for two years, the rebels need to regroup. They know the government's unlikely to allow that. At some point, they'll attack us again. We have learned to expect this from our previous experiences. In the face of this lack of trust, the men were readying themselves for battle. It may be peace, or it may be war, but we will still mobilize our forces to face the possibility of a bigger war. We are hoping this will be the last war for Aceh. Hopefully, as a result of the tsunami tragedy, the international community will help the Archinese people get absolute independence. These soldiers might be hunted and grief-stricken by the losses, but they appear to be unbroken in spirit. The men I was with, although few in number, were well armed and organized. They're ruthless in their dedication to the cause, an independence that Jakarta is unlikely to allow. And that bodes badly for the people of Aceh, who have already suffered so much.